Working at height is an extremely hazardous activity in all industries, especially in construction. Falls from height are major cause of death in construction. Therefore when working at height it is mandatory to have effective controls to mitigate the risk of fall. Therefore when selecting the fall protection we have to find the best solution that could protect the workers from falling. There are many methods for protection, however the best method of protection of worker to provide the scaffoldings. Let us see first what is a scaffold. A scaffold is defined as an elevated, temporary work platform. There are three basic types of scaffolds. Main type of scaffolding is Supported scaffolds, which consist of one or more platforms supported by rigid, load-bearing members, such as poles, legs, frames, outriggers. Number 2. Suspended scaffolds which are one or more platforms suspended by ropes or other non-rigid, overhead support. Number 3. Other scaffolds, principally man lifts, personnel hoists, etc., which are sometimes thought of as vehicles or machinery, but can be regarded as another type of supported scaffold. In this series of presentation, Number 1 is supported scaffolding which is most common scaffolding and best option for protection. Supported scaffolding is then again divided into many types. Supported scaffolds Supported scaffolds consist of one or more platforms supported by outrigger beams, brackets, poles, legs, uprights, posts, frames, or similar rigid support. These are supported scaffoldings. Frame scaffolding or fabricated frame. Ladder jack. Mast climbers. Mobile, manually or propelled. Pole and wood scaffoldings. Pump jack. Tube and coupler. Tube and coupler is the most common and the most suitable scaffolding for working at height that provide the best protection while working at height. They are so named because they are built from tubing connected by coupling devices. Due to their strength, they are frequently used where heavy loads need to be carried, or where multiple platforms must reach several stories high. Their versatility, which enables them to be assembled in multiple directions in a variety of settings, also makes them hard to build correctly. Therefore this scaffolding is built by the competent and certified persons. This presentation is not mean to teach the workers how to erect the scaffolding, rather this is for the normal workers who are end users for this type of scaffoldings. They must be aware of the parts, features and standard requirement of this type of scaffolding. Parts and components of tube and coupler scaffolding vertical pipe from ground to top is called standard. It is main part for load bearing. It must be at vertical position plumbed at 90 degree. Horizontal tube member is called ledger it is important component of the scaffolding, it must be leveled position at 0 degree. This is called transom, it is supporting the main platform and it is also load bearing member and keep the front and back side of scaffolding stable. These members are also used at lower position to stabilize the scaffolding. Sole board and sole plate. Sole board used under the sole plate if ground is soft or uneven. Sole board will keep the scaffolding stable, even and protect it from collapsing. Sole plates will provide the strong and hard surface under the pipe so that pipe will not enter into ground or sole board. Platform is the main part of scaffolding, that is used to land the workers so that they can perform their task with safety. It is fully decked without any hole and opening in the surface. This is non-slip surface made with wooden or steel planks. These planks are made as per OSHA standard. This part is called railing consists of top rail and mid rail, the height of the railing is 38 to 45 inches from the working deck, 
mid-rail is in the middle of the railing height. Railing is basic component to protect the worker falling from height. This elevation at the sides of the platforms are called tow board. The purpose of tow board is to protect the material and tools from falling on the ground. Standard tow board is 3.5 inches however in the scaffolding full plank is used that is 8 inches is high. If material stacked on the scaffolding is higher than the tow board height, a mesh screen shall be fixed along the railing. Ladder is means of access to any scaffolding and it is integral part of the scaffolding. Ladder shall be fixed rigidly to the scaffolding. Ladder shall be non-slip. Rung's height shall be between 16 and 21 inches uniformly. If height of the scaffolding is more than 35 feet, there shall be a break at every 35 feet before climbing next height. Tube and coupler scaffoldings are erected by the competent persons under the supervision of competent supervisor. Once scaffolding is prepared and ready to use it will be inspected by the competent supervisor and he will sign the green tag and fix near the access of scaffolding. If scaffolding is not yet competed or unsafe to access, a red tag will be fixed near the access and it will show not to access on the scaffolding. Users of scaffolding are not allowed to modify the scaffolding, if needed, request to modify by the authorized person. Do not work or reach out of railing of scaffolding. If need to work out of railing, use the fall arrest system. Do not use anything to access height from the working deck. Keep good housekeeping on the working deck. Secure your tools to avoid dropping them from height. Barricade the area under the scaffolding to keep away unauthorized person t work under the scaffolding. Keep three-point contact while climbing scaffolding ladder. Do not take the material with you while accessing the ladder. Use proper means to hoist the material and tools to the scaffolding. Before accessing the scaffolding ensure it is inspected and green tag is in place. Do not overload the scaffolding more than it intended capacity. Use all appropriate PPE.